Selma, Alabama, Vice President Kamala Harris visited Selma, Alabama on Sunday to commemorate a defining moment in the fight for the right to vote, making her trip as congressional efforts to restore the landmark 1965 Voting Rights Act have faltered. Under a blazing blue sky, Harris took the stage at the foot of the bridge where in 1965 white state troopers attacked black voting rights marchers attempting to cross. Harris called the side hallowed ground on which people fought for the most fundamental right of America's citizenship, the right to vote. Today, we stand on this bridge at a different time, Harris said before a cheering crowd of thousands. We again, however, find ourselves caught in between. Between injustice and justice. Between disappointment and determination. Still in a fight to form a more perfect union. And nowhere is that more clear than when it comes to the ongoing fight to secure the freedom to vote. The nation's first female vice president, as well as the first African American and Indian American in the role, spoke of marchers whose peaceful protest was met with crushing violence. They were kneeling when the state troopers charged. They were praying when the billy clubs struck. On Bloody Sunday, March 7, 1965, state troopers beat and tear-gassed peaceful demonstrators, including young activist John Lewis, who later became a longtime Georgia congressman. The images of violence at the Edmund Pettus Bridge, originally named for a Confederate general, shocked the nation and helped galvanize support for passage of the Voting Rights Act. 57 years later, Democrats are unsuccessfully trying to update the landmark law and pass additional measures to make it more convenient for people to vote.